Welcome back to Satisfactory, and today we're going to be starting with some upgrades that we've been needing for quite a while. So we've got our new copper building, well, we start with a building up there. And I think we're going to upgrade this first of all. This is, needs to be uh, sped up a little bit. Uh, you are, well, you're sort of backlogged, but uh, let's just see. How much can this produce? 30 per minute. Yeah, we're going to upgrade that. You're going to go away, as are you. And let's get this upgraded to Mana Mark 2. Uh, yeah, come on, I know I can afford... Oh, hang on, I need a portable miner. That's why. Anyway, so hopefully the footage should be less um, laggy, I guess, or less glitchy than the last episode. Thanks very much to a commenter for mentioning that. Did some investigation and hopefully it's now fixed. So let's just get three of these portable miners going. Um, I'm... I think I'm going to need the other set of them, so we may as well get them all started. And we have another patch close by. That's not a patch close by, that is Katerium more though. Can't believe we didn't pick that up at the start of the game, maybe it wasn't even there. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, you know, we need to get that uh, sorted so I can rotate this without... Uh, hmm. That's annoying. Will you not let me rotate in small increments? Um, snap to guideline. That's that's incredibly annoying. Oh, there we go. No idea why it does that. Maybe I'm missing something. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay. So no power. Fair enough. That should be easy enough to sort out. We just need you. You. And that will start up and start supplying this with more concrete than it well more limestone than it can actually uh it can actually consume so we can probably overclock this and just get started i think we will let's go and get uh, some of our power crystals made um i want where have i put the power slugs did i put them around somewhere are they next to the yeah let's have a look they are okay let's craft these up so we want the power shards and we'll make all four. Not that I'm going to need them for this, but uh, so we have them on the hand. And then we can upgrade this. So what are you now producing? You're producing 60 a minute. Good. So one a second. And yes, this can deal with 45 by default. So let's split this up. Uh, so let's put in one. And what happens if I upgrade this? 150%. Uh, it can deal with more than that, so we can just clock it back down a little bit. 140, maybe? Let's see what it deals with now. 63. Okay, we'll just clock that back again. 130. It takes a little bit of time for it to, to catch up. 135. Should be close enough. Want to be really exact, I guess. 134 is pretty much as close as I'm going to be able to get this. Yeah, as long as it's just over, that's absolutely fine. And it should process this at full speed. Now, if that's not enough, there is another limestone patch. And it is right there. You see where my cursor is right, right now? It's just underneath our ramps. And we will go and be able to use that later. Do I have any, any concrete? Uh, I have a little bit of concrete. I only want a small amount because we're going to want to make a couple of things today. We're going to want to make a constructor, so we've got plenty of stuff for that. And then we're going to start turning the crystals that we got, or at least uh, the, uh, what's the raw form called? Raw quartz, into raw qu uh, into quartz crystals. And those combine with cable, and I want to say something else. I think it's probably refined iron plates or something to actually make... Uh, the next thing we're actually going to need. Uh, oh, and we have lots and lots of gunpowder. <laughs> Turning all the way over there. So, uh, why don't we get started with that then? So, we need a constructor. And let's just flip that around. Again, this kind of thing is probably not something I'm going to need too much in the way of mass production for. But uh, let's just put it here for now. And that will go directly in. And will tell us to make quartz crystals. Okay, it can take 30 a minute, but it doesn't really matter much matter here. 
Uh, let me just actually put an extra power pole down. I may want an extra one, so let's just grab it from there. There we go. All right, you're producing quartz crystals. Good. Now, the next stage is unfortunately going to need one of these manufacturers to, to make uh, the uh, the next thing. So let's just see if I can grab a crafting bench. That's an equipment bench. Have I got a crafting bench around somewhere? Yes, I do. Let's just quickly check what this actually needs, because I think we're going to move this somewhere else. It needs what I think it does. So crystal oscillator. We need cable. And we need reinforced iron plate. So the cable we can make from copper alone. And it's probably worthwhile thinking about maybe making that separately. Or at least making it locally. We've got a plateau up here, close enough to the copper factory, that we can head on in and uh, hopefully just craft that up quite nicely. So here's our copper plateau. We could split off from the output here. You can already see it's backing up because we have a, a container up there. Or we could make cable and then send cable that way around the back. Thankfully, there is actually already reinforced iron up there. It comes around here. I think it makes into modular frames. So we could redirect that as much as we actually wanted to and deal with the rest later. Also, there's this kind of optimization where you don't see all the frames on these belts if you're far enough away. I'm not sure if that's um, going to be a bug or not, but uh, yeah. So I was going to think about building something up here, but given we have two of the three ingredients, or at least the prerequisite on the top floor, I think I'm actually going to go and bring the quartz crystals over here. And let's see if we can get them into the top floor somehow. Uh, that's going to require a little bit of routing, but uh, yeah, I can probably bring it down the, the back down here somewhere and into the back and uh, over there. Okay, so I'm going to do that. That's uh, obviously going to be stuff that I can just do off camera rather than running belts on camera. And join me for the quartz oscillator build. So I brought in the crystals. The texture is missing on them, unfortunately, but uh, that should be fixed fairly soon, I imagine. And we're going to bring this down into another manufacturer here, which has cable coming in and reinforced iron plates. The cable we're making pretty much locally because we have this line coming in here already and we can split off because I already put a splitter in the last episode because this is making cable and wire itself. Instead of splitting off cable from the other side, which we could do, yeah, I was a bit short on room and I'd have to try and take it over these two belts. So I decided not to do that and just actually create a separate split of the wire and making cable locally. Then from up there, we have reinforced iron. It's one of the first things we did. And this is also coming into the second port. So we've got the ports two, three and four full. And it's now starting to make crystal oscillators. Granted, only a, well, just less than two a minute, but uh, it is actually making them. So in 25 minutes or so, or thereabouts, we should be able to make crystal oscillators. Now, that's not terrible. Uh, we could actually speed it up by handcrafting some stuff for this particular recipe. So um, let's just see how much we've got for the current milestone. We need uh, beacons. Okay. And did I switch off beacons? I probably did. Yes, let's turn beacons back on. And this is making uh, pretty much everything should go in there. Let's actually... Do we want to disable the Nobelisk? Yeah, let's disable that. So the beacons should now start piling up. And that will be that part of the milestone at the top right of the screen. We need some heavy modular frames. Whoops. Uh, heavy modular frames. I've got enough. And we also need some motors. And I should have enough motors as well. They're down here. If anyone knows, can you actually get rid of the green gas areas? Is there any? I don't think you can get rid of them with explosions, but I would like to sort of continue my building. And unfortunately, with that out there, I'm not able to. So yeah, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, we shall proceed. Where's my motors gone? I think they're here. Yeah, so uh, we just want 100 of them. And let's just put away um, something. Let's just grab those and we'll dump them in our, in our main system. Hopefully our pod's back, so I should be able to actually access this now. Uh, yes, it is. Good. So let's just put in the motors. Where is the stack of motors? And we want the modular frames. And now I just need the two things. I need 25 beacons and I need 50 oscillators. And with a little bit of fetching, a little bit of handcrafting, we should now have enough to just get this research on the go, or at least there would be the milestone done. Yep, milestone can go in. 
There we go, we get radar technology. So we should be able to then build a radar tower. I'm not sure what that would actually come under. Uh, let's just skip, press enter. Uh, where are you, organization? Yeah, radar tower. So we're gonna need 10 beacons per tower and we're gonna need 15 oscillators and five heavy modular frames. Otherwise, pretty straightforward recipe. So I need to go and start up the beacons again. I had them turned off again after I got them for their research. But uh, we now need to just pick a spot for a re uh, radar tower. Now, it does say um, you should pick a, a spot that's high, basically. The higher it is, the more effective it is. Now, we could try and get that to be just an artificial tower made out of foundations or something. But uh, we can just put it down, I guess, for the local area. Um, let's just take a look here. So we're looking sort of up there. That's one area. That's right above where our iron spots are. I think, uh, hang on, let me face the right direction. Ah, sorry, there's right above where our iron spots are, the hub, and there. And we could put it there, but it depends on how big the circle it is that it actually explores for us. Otherwise, we should probably think about putting it um, yeah, over this side and then maybe moving them around. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure where we're going to put it for now, but for test, if we put it over there somewhere, it'll probably be a decent test, or even here, really, just to see what the range of the circle is. So to get that started, let's just re-enable a few things. I'm going to want to re-enable the beacons, uh, which is this one. There it goes. Yep, it's going to start producing beacons, and then we're going to need some more oscillators, which takes time to actually build them, but uh, not too long. So yeah, I can always handcraft more if need be. So here we are, reasonably close to what it thinks is unexplored, but I've definitely been there before, but, uh, you know, we've got a conveyor belt running out this way. So why don't we just put it here for now, and let's see how, what the circle's like, and then we can figure out what we need to do from there. So there is a radar tower model, and do oh, I want to rotate this? Let's rotate it that way. Okay, that's quite a tall tower. <laughs> Yeah, that's taller than I was expecting, and uh, awesome sound when it actually built. And uh, now, do we have enough power for this? Yeah, we have enough power. Uh, do I need to turn this on? Configure the radar tower. Okay, so current scanned area, fine, and maximum area. So it just seems like it's automatic, and we'll start scanning, and then we can change the tower. So, I don't know, maybe home tower? Okay. Can we actually climb this thing? We can. Okay, so if you like look at towers, well, this is a whole, whole lot higher and uh, probably a lot deadlier. Um, please tell me there's an actual... Okay. There is an actual tower, but we need to get multiple ladders to get to the top again. Okay. If there's anything up here, probably isn't. No, that's a shame. However... Yeah, whoa, uh, yeah, this is pretty high. So if you wanted something to build off, or indeed, if you want to carry the ingredients around with you, if you ever get to a cliff that you can't get up to with um, with your jetpack, then this is sort of ideal, you know, well, three or four times the height of that cliff. And that was probably just, uh, just about what you can get up with a jetpack. So yeah, if we want this to scan further, then perhaps we should need to put it on top of one of those structures over there. Or indeed on top of that bridge or you know anywhere along the cliffside but you can see where our conveyor belt comes in from all the way over there our criterium is on that that uh, point right there and then there is another point on an island just off the coast where there was one of those boulders that we can blow up now <laughs> we couldn't before so yeah um time till next scan let's look at the map is there any actual effect well it's certainly cleared out that area there where the drop pod is and that's currently at 55% so it may well cover this kind of area that kind of radius seems like it's reasonable so we'll leave that alone for now and uh, yeah I'm gonna get back down hopefully the uh, non-fatal way and uh, yeah there we go okay and everyone wants, everyone wants more body slots so that's pretty good and you know you can spot that from a mile off so I quite like that idea completely. So with that done, then we're done with the crystal oscillators. Uh, I want to just check based on the research again to see if we can actually unlock any more stuff. Let me just go and have a look. 
I should probably upgrade from our berries to a medicinal inhaler. May as well take that while we're here. And uh, let's just pop that in. So we've got some rotors and some wire. And of course, we've got plenty of wire now. Our copper factory is running. And that can get unlocked. And that'll probably be in the personal equipment. Uh, fabric just brings in parachutes, which automatically apply when you fall off high things. So we could do that as well. That's relatively easy to actually get done. Um, not anything that's really important there. Uh, gas mask is probably useful as well. I don't quite have the materials for that yet. We've got plenty of motors, but uh, computers are another thing entirely. However, there is one thing that I didn't mention that we probably should make one of. We have a truck. We have a tractor over there somewhere, uh, yet somewhat abandoned. But we have the Explorer, and the Explorer comes with this whole set of research chain as well. It's tiny by comparison, but we can make it. And yep, we have the ability to drive. I want to get open the workbench and then let's put in, uh, where's my fuel? Let's just split that in half. Put you in there. Okay. And now we, we have a craft that's much, much faster than our previous vehicles. And it goes up to about 100 kilometers per hour. Yep, I quite like this. This is much, much better than the other two. And we have a few things we need to get rid of. Uh, hello. Um, yes, there we go. Oh, so much nicer. Okay, so we need to collect various alien, um, alien related creatures, goodies kind of thing, uh, drops if you want to call them that and uh, explore around a little bit. So yeah, I do like the Explorer vehicle. Um, very, very nice by comparison to the others. And in fact, the others are more for the automation of things, I would imagine, you know, that the truck stations, and you can use those to get um, coal going and stuff like that. But I've just used belts. Belts are far more convenient and they are reliable, no performance problems, no accidental deaths from being mown down by a truck. Not that I've ever done that, but uh, yeah, so there's our Explorer. And why don't we just get the fabric stuff, given that that's come back? That is one of the research that we can do. So the milestone is fair and by itself. Uh, let's just get these things put in. So I need iron rods. I need some plate. And that's done. Okay, so fabric is done and unlocked. Can we actually make it through here? Um, no fabric. Yeah, we can. So fabric is just needing biomass and it's needing mycelia. So if we wanted to make that, that's going to need a cave trip for mushrooms. And you can put it through here and this should unlock parachutes, if I remember rightly, from the very earliest uh, alpha weekend, you could do that. So we're going to need uh, 10 mycelia, which is going to be 10 mushrooms and then some biomass. Uh, do I have any of those in any of here? I thought I would have kept some. Let me just take a quick look rather than going cave diving. And I had to go into a cave, but that was quick enough. It's right next to the base. I showed you that in a previous episode, so you shouldn't need to see that. And we can just start researching fabric. So that should unlock parachutes for us. You know, I'm almost... Yeah, they're probably going to require to be put into the body slot, which, again, no, I don't like... Um, and of course the jetpack is already an upgrade to them, but it's thought it'd be complete on that one Which leaves supercomputers, which we're going to leave to another episode That's going to require a whole other chain to actually get to However, I think what we did lock is an alternate computer recipe uh, Did we do that? Computer uh, Supercomputer Where's the computer recipe? Uh, not in there, okay Unless I missed it, I could have missed it we can just go and check it up here because that's what we're going to be going anyway. The alternate recipes are nearly always cheaper than the main ones, as far as I know. So, uh, this is off at the moment. Yes, it's in standby mode. However, we can look at different recipes. And I thought I got an alternate recipe for computers. That isn't giving me it. But I'm almost certain, unless I picked something else. You know, I'll probably pick something else. That's annoying. I was going to redevelop this, but uh, it's fine as it is. It's just it would like it to be a bit cheaper. And we're also going to need um, a few of these things for another for the supercomputer side of things. Uh, the supercomputer it needs a few um, 
let's just have a look uh, if we look on here and the recipes supercomputer you can see at the bottom right it needs like an ai limiter it needs a high-speed connector and plastic and computers so if we can get this to be cheap the computers to be cheaper then we can get the supercomputers to be cheaper and we can reuse the plastic line so we only need those two other things the high-speed connector which is this which is just plastic and right it actually needs quick wire so we actually have a use for the criterium uh, and that's all the way over the other side so maybe not for that at the moment okay so we'll leave that to another day uh, and we should also get another fuel generator going but you've seen me craft that before so there's nothing excess there and if you play Factorio, um, if not, why why not? Why, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> you know what this is going to need. Uh, you see a couple of things like this, and we don't have any kind of balancer. So um, because we're not going using anywhere near the full speed of this, a balancer should be really quite easy here. All we really have to do is merge the belts and separate them again, and that should do the job. It's not going to be a hugely successful job if you... <laughs> If your uh, your available belt won't carry the app the speed that you need it to, so uh, for now, however, it should do that job just fine. So let's just see if this is able to catch things up quite nicely. So uh, we want some logistics, and we want a, uh, a merger, and we don't need to be really too sensitive to this. We just want to basically line this up. Okay, uh, I did. Build a merger there, right? I've done this before, it won't actually connect. <laughs> Come on, connect! That is a merger. That is a merger. Okay, fine. I'll rebuild it slightly further away. Okay, so there we go. Now will you merge? Yes, you'll do fine. Okay, so let's just get that here, put this in, and then we just put it straight through a splitter again. Whoops, splitter. And that'll do for now until we sort of run out of this, the speed we actually need, uh, for, i.e. The, the capacity of the belt. There it is. And that can go in there. I'll need it up later. That should basically input both and split it evenly between the two, which it is. Good. Now, that still may cause a bit of an issue because one of these lines up there will be used more than the other one. Eh, but uh, that should at least solve my local annoyance at seeing this. But we'll see how well it does once everything backs up. And we may have to move this up there somewhere and rebalance everything. Yeah, you'll see it's already stacking up on the left side. However, we are supplying more on the right side than we were previously. Do you remember? The other side, you can see, is a very small amount. Although that's probably because this hasn't been actually upgraded. At least some of it hasn't been upgraded. So, yeah, that has been upgraded up to there, and now everything should go through. So, uh, how are you doing now? Okay, so still unbalanced on the input, and fine on the output. So if this backs up, this one will take over, and it will continue supplying iron as fast as we need it. We'll see if that actually backs up at the top. Uh, what have we actually got being done up here? Yep, so this is our new line that we, we constructed last episode. Just producing iron rods more than anything else down for uh, our various factories like the beacon factory and everything else they're a bit done but uh, just a lot of little optimizations and stuff like that i'll need to do in the background i may even put the third miner in here you know and just try and get it up there and getting get it supplied uh to get that done or at least maybe move this balancer further further back all the way up into the mission into the, the factory up there we'll see uh, you know, I'll have a think about it between the episodes. And why don't you have a think about it as well? If there's anything you want to see that you haven't already, do let me know in the comments below. More than happy to demonstrate some stuff. We're definitely going to need more concrete, I think. We, let's see how, how is this doing. It is actually backing up, so we are supplying enough concrete now. Although I've got a feeling I did turn one of the machines off. <laughs> so that's not quite as good as otherwise. Yeah, so I may have turned off this machine. I did turn off this machine. It was making encased industrial beams, which is useful, but I had a few of them in here, so I didn't need a huge amount. Anyway, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Otherwise, we'll see you next episode for some more satisfactory. And, uh, of course, we'll subscribe, share, but more importantly, leave comments for everyone else. And as always, thanks for watching.